Hello everyone, this is Peter from Particularly Meticulous Designs, or was PM Designs, and today I thought I'd show you how to make this snail shell, um, because I was tasked with doing doing one, making a snail, and I had a quick look at some tutorials online, and they're all very complicated, about using um, Bezier curves and all this, or um, getting some maths involved, and I'm not very good at maths, so I found what I think is an easier way, and I hope it's all it's useful to all of you guys too um, so yeah uh, the first thing you need to do is make sure you've got the bolt factory turned on in your preferences you need to have a bolt yeah bolt factory okay this is the easy way that I'm going to do it. so in object mode we're going to add a mesh find bolt okay that will do you can you can adjust this the size and all that but we don't need to do that this is fine so I'm going to just start with this and now obviously you you see what's going on you if you've got you know half a brain you could probably guess what I'm going to do with this um, so in x-ray mode oh let me turn on my screencast keys I always forget to do that I'm just going to remove most of this well yeah um, so yeah I went outside and I, I found some snails and I looked at their shells and sorry, that's a complete lie. I don't go outside. I looked at the pictures online, and it seems that the average snail shell has about five full circles in the spiral. So, uh, so I'm going to try and get here. I want about I don't know five from here. One, two, three, four, five up to about there. Let's add an extra one for fun. Get rid of all of that. Okay. So then, in edge select mode, up here, I'll click two to select it. I'm just going to select any one of these edge loops and press uh, well I could just yeah I just separate it and press P to separate separate by selection back in object mode get rid of the bolt or what remains of the bolt and now we have this lovely spiral yeah easy huh all right so now we want to resize this um, so yeah proportional editing is going to help we could do connected only but this is okay I'm first going to show you how not to do this because it won't work uh, let's say, for example, that I select one full ring, and then I try to scale it down with proportional editing. You'll see that we get this kink in it. Even if I were to select, let's say I select all the way down to there, there's going to be this kink, which, yeah, is not, not pleasant. Even if you switch to different types, this isn't going to work. So, back in object mode, we're going to add a circle. Uh, scale the circle up to be bigger than the, the spiral. Bring it up to the top, or you could do it from the bottom, I guess. And then we're going to join it to the circle. Shift, click the circle. Shift, click the spiral. Control J to join. So now, when I go into edit mode, I just want the circle. So I press L on the circle. And now, have I got connected done? Nope. If I expand the area of effect, we get a very clean spiral but I want to make it much more than that I want to bring in that last piece to be almost right in the middle about there that'll do okay don't need us by our circle anymore I can delete that um, so then yeah we've got the actually the spiral shape so then if we click all, uh, sorry click all of this or select all of it by pressing a S Z Z zero, and now we've got a flat spiral. It's not perfectly, you know, uh, what's the word? Mm, symmetrical? No. Anyway, I've just woken up, so I'm not really with it. Uh, but anyway, right. So back in object mode, let's convert this into a curve. Go down to your curve properties over here, which is indicated by this little curve geometry. It's, we'll keep it on round, that's fine, and we're just going to add some depth to it. Yeah, this is really not a very nice one because I did it quite lazily, but it's okay. You get the idea. If you, if you make sure that your beginning spiral is a bit more even, yeah, but I'm just going to go with this. This this will be okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to bring up, bring that up until it's touching. Looks a little bit like uh, whatever bring up the resolution, you don't have to do that now, you can just do your subdivision later, but yeah, this gets it 
a nice um, nice smooth shell okay done object mode convert that back into a mesh and then from the top view oh hang on let me stick this back to the 3d cursor about there about there should do um, yeah back in ed edit mode now I'm gonna switch to my circle selector and just try and click connect uh, click on the middle and then go let's go from view one I guess switch back to this one I like this one and then still using um, proportional editing just gonna bring that up okay if you do go outside and look at snail shells you'll notice they kind of look a bit like this and yeah it's still it should be much thicker on the outside so we're just gonna size it down that way as well and let's see how that looks that's not too bad yeah you get you get the general idea of how that's gonna work so then yeah that's it basically that's it yeah um, you can symmetrize that symmetrize Put on the Z Z the Zeta what do you want yeah mm. don't like that there we go that works and then yeah so but we want to bring this part out you know, so again this is just in case you don't know when you're doing proportional editing if you click connected only then you can oh oh why is that connected did I click on that I didn't want to click on that let's do that again get rid of this face I don't want that face from nowhere join up with those edges there we go okay and then if I bring there we go that's better so now I can just bring this one piece out about there I guess and rotate it a bit This can be fixed relatively quickly. I could actually just do uh, shrink that down, and there you go. That's basically it. Yeah, I did it very quickly. You would need to take a bit more time, but I'm just trying to keep this a nice short tutorial. Another thing you would need to do is come in here and find this middle. Where's it gone? Middle edge. Oh, wrong faces. This one, and just join that up. But yeah, you could shrink that down. Shrink it down first. And yeah, so that just looks a little bit, bigger. you know, if I shade that smooth, not too bad. Yeah, very quick one, just to give you the basic idea. It's not perfect, but um, you know. Oh, where's the other one gone? Here we go. And so you know I took a bit more time on this one and it looks you know a bit better a bit more even and then you know obviously you need to finish that but it's the same technique you know I, I separated a one edge loop turned it into a curve um, beveled it up added some geometry to it and then just convert it back into a uh, mesh and joined it together with the shell okay so if you found that useful please give a you know obviously give a like and maybe subscribe if you want to cheers bye